In the annals of UFC history, dominant title holders were crowned. One of the most diverse fighters in the history of the sport, and he is a true martial artist in every sense of the word. Some of whom reigned over their divisions for years. She gets to dominate, and that's what she does every single time we've seen her inside the octagon. And she's essentially cleared out two divisions. The greatest women's combat sports athlete of all time. Which is why we'll never forget those rare moments when underdog challengers revealed that those godlike champions were only human. St. Pierre is buckled. Sarah is going for the Unbelievable. finish. Head kick. Holly looking to finish. Oh! You can't play games in the octagon. Juliana Pena shocks the world. This sport is so crazy. You just never know what's going to happen. The most recent chapter of historic championship upsets was written last September in Australia. Two-time UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya enters the octagon and confidence appears to be pretty damn high as he gets ready for another title fight. Oh! oh! A huge right hand for Sean Strickland! For Sean Strickland to throw in the great Israel Adesanya. Sean Strickland has produced one of the biggest upsets in UFC championship history. To become middleweight champion of the world. No and now the path to UFC middleweight gold goes through Sean Strickland. I came out on smoke, yeah, out the gate on the go. I take notice, take notes. I get all the first place votes. Yeah. I have the belt, I have the target. Now everybody in the UFC wants to fight me. He loves to fight, he loves violence. No, oh, it's it! It's fun to hurt people. This is what he does, he's gonna walk you down. You wanna watch me fight? Am I gonna win? I don't know, but I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna punch that right in the face. Strickland trying to end it. For you guys. I ain't slowing down, I ain't stopping. Ah! Bring it! On January 20th in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Strickland will defend his belt against one of the division's most formidable challengers in recent memory. Oh! Dupla C connected! Just like that! A brute force hailing from South Africa. This dude possesses tremendous power. Dracus Dupla C. I do believe I'm the best middleweight in the world. Oh my goodness! Big strikes raining down by the South African! And I do believe that I'm going to be the best middleweight ever. Whoa. Do you believe it? Dracus Whoa. Dupla C! In the co-main event, the vacant women's bantamweight belt goes up for grabs. Look at that, she's got the neck wrapped up. Oh, and there's the tap! As Brazilian Contender Series alum, Myra Bueno Silva. She's a vicious fighter. Oh, Myra Bueno Silva teeing off! If you give her a moment on the ground, you're screwed. And there is the tap! This match is my best! Faces former title challenger, Raquel Pennington. She wants to turn back toward the top and make that a reality once again. Raquel Pennington is emerging and is a truly world-class contender. But before the UFC kicks off its first pay-per-view event of 2024. First. Give me that championship belt. Get ready. Yes, So I think it's done. There it is. Mark Cuban, Dricus Duplessy are celebrating together. For UFC 297. Never in the UFC's rich history has it crowned a champion from South Africa. But on January 20th in Toronto, a contender bred in the nation's northern city of Pretoria will attempt to become the first. The fighter that I am and the person that I am has been shaped by South African culture. We can do whatever we set our minds to. South African MMA is right up there with the best in the world. For middleweight powerhouse Drake is Duplessis, the road to UFC glory began right at home. He's fighting out of Silverton, Pretoria, Drakus Duplessis! 
naturally he is so gifted, raw, strong, and just so hungry. Now Duplessis is going to take his yes! back. Yes! Fighting primarily with the local South African promotion EFC. He is a strong man. Duplessis, the 19-year-old, is setting the middleweight division alight. Finishing all 12 of his victories under its banner. It's like he has never any energy. He's so strong in everything he does. If he gets a hold of you, it's hard to get away from him. That's going to be it and seizing championship belts in multiple weight classes. Doing the impossible, he's 23 years old. Oh. Two division champion. And he is the best this country has ever seen. The African continent has some talent and we are here to stay. And we can compete with anybody in the world, no matter where you're from. The prodigy of Pretoria. You have to wonder where is the limit, where is the ceiling for this kid? Pretoria, the year is eternal, baby! And this man wants to show the world all about South African mixed martial arts and their style. What makes me dangerous is the fact that there's not going to be a moment in the fight where I'm not there to take your head off and finish that fight. Oh, what the a debut! Oh! Huge right hand! South Africa is officially on the map now! I want to be the first real African jab trained, born, bred in Africa. My success in the UFC wasn't unexpected. I was fighting a very high level internationally before. Duplessis just all over Terrence Hill. I knew I could take it slow and build myself up, but that wasn't the route I wanted to take. That's South Africa for you, baby. And these Duplessis fights always got a little crazy in them. Oh! I wanted to get to that title and get to the top of the pile as quick as possible. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, big shot! Oh. Look, the towel. The towel just got thrown in. Perfect 5-0 start to his UFC career. I knew I was going to become the new world middleweight champion. Enter the former UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whitaker. And it was evident in the Whitaker fight. The winner of this fight could challenge Israel Adesanya nine weeks from now at UFC 293. Duplicy has such an odd style. The way he moves, it's difficult to gauge because it's awkward, but it's very effective. Look at this. Oh, he oh. stunned him. He stunned him bad. He's hurt bad. Oh, and now the leg kick. Duplessis got Whitaker in all kinds Whitaker's of trouble. Whitaker's in a world of trouble. Oh, my goodness. Big strike Whitaker trading down by the South African. Whitaker covers up. Oh. Do you believe it? Drake oh. is Duplessis. Oh. Stops over Whitaker inside 10 minutes. After a resounding victory over former middleweight King Robert Whitaker. That is a big wake-up call for the middleweight division. The African-born champion whose belt Duplessis was chasing would ignite an incendiary rivalry. A spot at the very top of the mountain, and the man you will face next is standing to your right, the great Israel Adesanya. Yeah, I don't know about Greg. Fine, relax, relax, relax. This is my African brother right here. Let's go. What's up, bitch? What's up? I'm African, but I ain't no brother of yours, son. He is a true master at his art. Nigerian-born Israel Adesanya is one of the greatest middleweights of all time. He's the best striker that we've ever seen in the UFC. Greatness personified, the ultimate example of a champion. Really is phenomenal. The sickening display of violence. Oh my goodness. A two-time champion. The undisputed king of the middleweights! the middleweight championship of the world. Who's electrifying kickboxing. Still undisputed! He's too good, wow. And engaging charisma. Better not step in there, because this is my case. It's my octagon. I'm the king, bitch. Made him one of the sport's biggest stars. What an absolute superstar. Future in the UFC Hall of Fame. This is his house. Although a grudge match with Duplessis appeared to be a done deal, the South African's health would force a change of plans. Terrible news. Drikus is not going to do the title fight. Drikus is not going to fight Israel Adesanya. He is injured. Stepping in to face Adesanya on short notice would be brash American Sean Strickland. I just want money in my pocket. I will walk my ass up and beat some big because at the end of the day, I'm in it to make money. I like to hurt people, and here we are. An outspoken and unfiltered anti-hero. I'm a man. I'm not a 
whose provocative nature is a product of a troubled past. I wasn't tired of being a man. I hated my dad. My next best thing was my grandfather, who's a racist piece of I'm a white trash, dropped out of high school, man. So I have no male role models, so I'm just kind of figuring this out as it goes. Something happened with America. We went from like smoking cigarettes, riding horses, and working on cars to a bunch of I went through stages of being a being violent, being rebellious. I ride motorcycles. I like sex with hot women. I carry guns on me. I carry knives. I am an American. This is the uh, most American gun, AK-47. Every man needs a Glock. I couldn't own a gun for 10 years of my life, so you know, I'm trying to make up for it. Ah, oh, finally, I think I knocked it down. Can't go to school, dropped out. When you have cool guns, you like to watch other people shoot your gun. There wasn't really much options going for me. You're not supposed to shoot the ground, Kurt. But there's a brother shipping a gym. You meet a lot of like-minded people in a gym, and generally they want to better themselves. Good easy flow, let's go, partner up, work. Works. You're meeting your fellow ups. Ah, let's go in But they're there to get better. Better themselves, better fighter, better mentally, better man. All right, guys, partner up. Let's go on the wall. It's MMA, man. It's amazing. Get that spot. Ready. Work time, go. Beautiful. When you go to the gym and you try to murder your training partners, you tend to be a little bit less violent. You can sleep a little better. Time, shadow, we're working. Body language here, what are we telling our opponent? It allows you to see clearly and develop tools to function. From North Cole, California, presenting Sean Torsen Strickland. With mixed martial arts as his guiding light. Sean Strickland would shine. And new King of the Cage middleweight champion of the world. Sean Tarzan Strickland. Guy turns pro as a teenager. Never been anything but a fighter. Trained from jump as a mixed martial artist. Oh, it's it! This guy is a believer that the best way to become a great fighter is to fight. That has led him to where he is now on the cusp of being a breakout star in the middleweight division. By 2023. Oh! Look at this. Strickland had 14 UFC wins to his name. This man's just a natural fighter. Certainly has a chip on his shoulder. Come on, Jack. There's definitely a screw loose, but that helps him when he fights. Strickland trying to end it, and he ah, does. You. Ah, you. I said to the middle. Oh. And a shot at the middleweight champ. Strickland starting to swarm and send a message. You've been beating the drum for a long time about a title fight, but is there somebody that you're going to name that you want next? The UFC asked me to fight. Is he on like a six-week notice? We took the fight. I'm fighting in Sydney. I don't give a f who. Did he kiss the You're out. Strickland, you're in. Let's do the man dance. And you got the belt. You got a big old target on your back. I want the title, man. I got to do this. We're going to make this happen. Sean Strickland's title shot in September of last year would require him to trek across the globe to Sydney, Australia, where Strickland faced the challenge of fighting an oceanic hero. We're here for the champ. Let's go. I'm gonna knock this guy out. And heavy betting favorite in New Zealand's Israel Adesanya. Live from Kudos Bank Arena here in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. This is UFC 293. Adesanya versus Strickland. Israel Adesanya is one of the greatest champions the UFC has ever seen. Every time somebody steps up, 
Izzy is more than willing to put them back in their place. And to that end, Strickland's undeterred in his pursuit to produce one of the biggest championship upsets in UFC history. Fire on the move. Let's go, let's go. Tonight, with all the pageantry that comes with a world championship fight, Sean Strickland will try to take Israel Adesanya to a place he doesn't want to go and leave with one of the biggest upsets in the sports history. Sean Strickland does have a style that can cause anyone a problem, but he's going to have to find a way inside of the range of Israel Adesanya without putting himself at risk because time and time again, the last stylebender has been here. Tonight, he once again wants to prove why he's the best in the world. All right, here we go with our middleweight championship fight. Israel Adesanya, the minus 675 betting favorite. But Adesanya will constantly give him this. Feints and fakes to try to back him up. Straight left coming. He's setting that up. Right now, Strickland's being very disciplined with his hands, trying to keep him up to make sure that he's not taking much damaging shots. But you got to be careful when Izzy starts playing possum. When Izzy starts to play possum, if Strickland can just get active, you might win the round. Disrupt that rhythm off that side. Oh! So listen, when you're throwing your jab, it's landing. But you're getting snake charmed by this guy. You're watching him. Take Don't let him off. Let's go. So a wild, wild end to round one has changed the complexion of this middleweight championship main event. We'll see the extent to which Adesanya has recovered. Big right hand over the top now for the champ. He's looking to go high with that kick. Adesanya goes high, partially blocked by Strickland. There's a lot of guys in the UFC that are one-trick ponies, and he's the one-trick pony, and once you figure that trick out, it's a little bit easier. Nice! Left hand got home for Strickland. Nice! Out of the Let's go! Body shot in the left hook. Oh! And a big left hand counter from Strickland now! It's the big shots that are going to get you the most points. Stay on him, Sean! Let's see your round, Sean! To the final round we go. Let's go be world champions right now, boys. Look at me. Do the up, coach. Do the That's what we do. Hey, don't let the gas pedal off this guy right now. If you can go five minutes with this guy, you're world champion. I got Let's you. go. Well, 100 pay-per-views ago in Melbourne, Australia, Holly Holm turned in the biggest upset in UFC Women's Championship history. Might we be in store for more history 100 pay-per-views later tonight? Look at how beat up Izzy is. And Strickland doesn't even look like he's breathing hard. Fighting against high-level strikers in a chess match, and every round is different and changes. Give me everything you got! And if you're not willing to change and adapt, you don't win. Strickland flapping comes late. Final 10 seconds. And he just stuck to what he thought he was going to do, and no change, no adaption. Sean Strickland has produced one of the biggest upsets in UFC championship history. It's good, but he was playing checkers, I was playing chess. We're all Let's go, baby! The upset was in the air tonight. And now the path to UFC middleweight gold goes through extreme couture, Sean Strickland. But if Drake is Duplessis was here tonight, Sean Strickland would not be here. Not long after Strickland won the title, the rumor mill swirled with speculation over who we would face next. And without Asanya ruling out a quick return. I just had to take my time, chill. For 2024, you're back, yeah? Maybe. 2027. Focus shifted to Drakus Duplessis, whose recovery from a foot injury was still unresolved. Izzy said that Drakus doesn't want to fight him. Oh, what happened to Drakus? What happened to Drakus oh, Duplessis? He was the man. I have this desire in me to be the greatest ever. And there's nothing in the world I want more than that. There's not a chance that I could live a life where I'm not pursuing greatness. The whole body works like a chain. Your big toe is hurt and you can't walk on it properly. Next thing you'll see is your knee starts hurting your hip. 
Finally, lower back, neck, everything is connected. Want you gaan met hem gebruik, soms wil dit samen met jou. For the Wetika fight, we went into the fight with a broken foot. Do you believe it? Drake is too classy, calls his shot and stops Robert Whittaker inside 10 minutes. So I wasn't willing to put maybe his only title shot ever on the line. What's up, bitch? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a world title fight. Drake has beat Robert Whittaker even though he had a foot injury. This injury is not going to allow him the fight in two months time to face Adesanya. Okay, good. Focus, your Going into the most important fight of my life, seriously injured, isn't brave or courageous, it's stupid. What's that? Now I'm healthy, I'm ready, and this is gonna work out exactly the way it should. Oh yes! We got the middleweight championship at UFC 297. Sean Strickland going up against Drake S. Duplessis. And these two matched up together will make for a sensational fight. And I cannot wait for it. Now fully recovered, Duplessis is primed for his shot at the title on January 20th in Toronto. Where the offensive minded South Africa will present Sean Strickland with much different threats than those posed by other son. Sean, he fought his fight. Adesanya in trouble early! Being on your heels the entire time is not fun. Never get an opportunity to control the engagement. He put easy on the back foot. Sean Strickland's boxing the entire time. And he's not a guy that can fight on his back foot. So well done to Sean, but good luck with trying that with Drickers, because Drickers doesn't go back. He can blitz and move forward. Everything he does, he does hard. We both have a style that we like to go forward and make it a dog fight. He's an animal. He's a real dangerous cat. But I have too much power. Power, size, he's a big, strong middleweight. And this is going to be, yet again, another finish. I guess I'm just amazed that Strickland has found a way to make Adesanya play the mouse the entire time. Sean Strickland's victory over Israel Adesanya in September of last year. Against one of the greatest strikers we've ever seen inside the octagon. Was one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. Let's go, baby! And the new champion is quick to revel in his success. inspire people, bud. As much as you don't want to think it, you do. You inspire people. And there's so many people that were pulling for you and cheering for you, whether they gave you a chance or not, who gives a But the ripple effect of that win is huge, man. Like, the rising tide raises all ships. And you, and you did that. So when you get home, bro, be the hero for the day. Bring it in, celebrate, take some photos. You know, your, your journey's been a long one, man. We're proud of you for it. Another belt. Yeah, we just got another one, huh, bud? What is that, number seven, right? Uh, seven total, yeah. Ah, oh, jogging, heads up, let's go, good work. Hey, you guys, <laughs> I just wanna say thank you guys, man. Like, would not be here without you guys. And after I win my fight, I'm not gonna go live in California for three weeks and be a superstar. So, if you can learn anything from me, <laughs> just stay consistent, bro. We, we need each other to get to where we need to be. Hey, with, with that being said, guys, last thing. We get to celebrate one day, and it's on to the next. All right, let's go. And new. And new. And new. And new. And new on three, nice and loud. One, two, three. And new. Let's go. Yeah. Three, two, one. And new. Woo! Let's go. Celebrations for the champion's crowning achievement were short-lived. Because for Team Strickland, 
the fighting lifestyle is not beholden to scheduled competition. It's 24-7, 365. on my back foot, please, like... Pressure. A guy like Sean, he's a student in the game. He lives and breathes fighting. Two, three, low. Last minute. At the end of the day, my message is simple. Work hard. Jeff. And like what you do. If you could work hard and like what you do, you'll be successful. Across the planet in South Africa, Strickland's January 20th opponent also prepares with the team that has backed his MMA success. But Dragas Duplessis attributes the lion's share of those achievements to the team leader. Rene has been my only coach as an MMA fighter for just over 10 years. He's believed in me way before I've really believed in myself that I can be a world champion and he's installed that championship mindset. What? If you don't have the mindset of becoming a champion, what? then you're wasting his time and you're wasting your own time because nobody gets into anything to be just a participant. What? I want guys to fight for the belt only. Big love, shin pads. See, if you want to become champion, this is the gym. Okay, let's go. Two one, let's go. Two minute, one minute. <laughs> Everybody knows that the UFC is the pinnacle of the sport. For me, to even start to talk to the UFC about you, you've got to give me a card to negotiate with. And that card is the UFC belt. Trickers! Two versus! Person shots behind, he's looking for the takedown. Because he's got a hold of his neck. Oh my goodness, here we go! You can't become a champion in what's given to you locally. Why do you want to think to go and fight elsewhere? I want speed, I want power. This is a power punch. That's what these numbers are about. Give me horsepower. Hi, man. With your base to Rakers. I claim glass was done. I'm the winner, the finish, the vendor, the better. Just go and get out of my way. There's a lot of bigger gems, but my team here at home being around my people, the camaraderie and the selflessness of the team. This has been the key to my success. I got the power, I've done it for hours to make you a coward and stick. For me to go and become the first South African UFC champion, it would mean the world to us. Ready to fight. Because this is not me just becoming champion. This is complete team effort. Fireball. To show that we have everything it takes to make it to the big stage and be the best on the big stage right here in South Africa. And your mate, time. Gloves off, shin pads off. In the heart of South Africa's largest city, UFC middleweight title challenger Dracus Duplessis attends a local MMA event hosted by the organization that shaped him. Hello and welcome to the EFC Performance Institute in Johannesburg, South Africa for EFC 110. We've had some great fight cards this year, folks, but we are undoubtedly saving the best till last. The EFC, this is the leading organization on the African continent. Hello. Alan, have a good one, guys. Appreciate it. I was double division champion in this organization, and they are doing absolutely incredible things for African and South African athletes to give them a base and give them a platform. We just had my one teammate, Diego, get incredible first round head kick knockout. Get that Anouk in. Get that Anouk. Anouk. Well done, I met Trickus when he was 19 years old. We signed him into the organization, not really expecting where or how far he would go, 
And we were giving him guys who had 19 to 20 fights when he was only three fights in with the organization. Every single time, he would just obliterate his opponent. It feels like yesterday that I was in this exact same position, just fighting in this hexagon for the EFC title. And I'm finally getting that opportunity to become the number one middleweight in the world. Most of my athletes come to us with the idea of being the African champion. That's the most important thing for them, because once they know they're African champion, they can then segue to the UFC. And I know on the 20th, when he beats Strickland, this entire continent is going to explode. To see me right there and then see me fighting for a world title, I know it would have inspired me. You, Ingapani, big matchup here, co main event for the championship. You know, if I can inspire somebody to really stop at nothing to become the best they can be, then that's a mission accomplished for me. How insane is it that we've come this far where Mark Hume and Drickus Tupusi are celebrating together? And Drickus Tupusi has no doubt made Mark Hume that much better of a fighter. What a way to end our year. The rest of the world can't compete with us. We're better than everybody. We work harder than everybody. And you have to kill us to beat us. It has been a fun year, and we'll see you in 2024. Back in the United States, middleweight champion Sean Strickland continues UFC 297 training camp under the guidance of coach Eric Nixick. Good round here, boys. Let's go. And with the revolving door of Extreme Couture's top fighters, which includes names like former bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling, alongside middleweight mainstays Brad Tavares. Brad Tavares is putting on a leg kicking clinic here tonight. And Edmund Shabazi. The Golden Boy is back! Edmund Shabazian! You guys ready? All right, boys, to the dead. There is no me without my team. We have a good core group of guys who love to work hard. If it wasn't for Edmund or Brad Tavares. Start cutting off a little bit better, too. We're chasing a little bit. Showing me even the slightest holes, slightest weaknesses. I would not be me, so. You see me, but I got an army of guys behind me. Nice. OK, that was good. Whole point, you're tired. Just finish strong. The Extreme Couture faithful prepare their champion accordingly for the January 20th title defense against challenger Dracus Duplessis. Oh, Dracus, he just comes in like a wild banshee throwing big haymakers. Every single strike that he's thrown tonight with 100% power. Lower that stance a little, be athletic. Hey, a little volume now. Let's go. Empty out. Nice. But I'm just better, man. Bro, if I had you guys here every day, Alex, this work. Edmund, this work, bro. I feel like I can fight everybody in the world. Thank you, guys. Go. Let's go, boys. Keep pushing. Let's shoot him on three. One, two, three, shoot As UFC 297 approaches, Strickland's home city of Las Vegas welcomes fighters from across the globe. Welcome to the UFC 2024 to promote 2024's upcoming slate of pay-per-view events, and also provides an opportunity for the war of words with Duplessis to officially begin. Yeah, dude, Greg is a tough dude. Look at this guy, but they offered him a world title, and he said, "No, I rolled my ankle." Trash has always been a part of the game. I try to be myself all the time, as much as I possibly can. They call me sexist, but here I am going to Canada to help a woman co-main event. And if it leads to some banjing back and forth, that's good. As soon as Sean Strickland won that bout, my focus immediately shifted to him. I go out there to fight, and that I can do better than anybody in the world. I just want to make bleed, and Dragus is the next one who's going to bleed. I can't wait. He says whatever he wants, and that's good for him. You won by fluke, and that's the one I thing. won by a point, bro. Your life. 
I walked through him while your bitch ass was icing a ankle. Like I Shut said, the, the height of your career. You will always Shut the that up. fight. But I'm gonna go with a TKO just like so many fights before. Listen, I'm the couch doing nothing. I went and beat the best striker in the world. To the death, you <laughs> On January 20th in Toronto. Hello, tough guy. The best middleweights on earth put words into action. As Drake is Duplessis. Duplessis is an absolute tank of a man. Oh! Aims to seize the title from reigning king Sean Strickland. This guy is a believer that the best way to become a great fighter no, it's it. is to fight. UFC 297 it is going to be a war, you guys. It is going to be a Oh! A huge right hand for Sean Strickland! Drickish brings it, man. Oh, oh, beautiful spin. So, it's gonna be a hell of a fight. Oh, oh no, big left hand! I just have too much power, and there's nothing that's gonna stop me. This is not the fight where I go to championship rounds. I'm TKing Sean Strickland. I think we're all feeling the tension of this title fight. It's crazy, man. That's why this sport is like no other. Because you don't know. Figured we might get a heavy dose of wrestling from Nunez late in the fight. And she looks to be putting the finishing touches on an eight total title defense. In June of last year, the MMA world would bid farewell to the greatest female fighter of all time. All Amanda Nunez tonight! Amanda Nunez. And Whoa! Tonight is a perfect night to retire and to leave you happy forever. A decorated double champion whose extensive resume includes a bantamweight title defense over Raquel Bennington. Inside, side step. Short distance, short distance. We're gonna stay on the outside. Stay on the outside. Ready, go. My first opportunity to fight for the world title was against Amanda at UFC 224. I hit a really dark point after that. Good. And relax. That's when my mind frame changed and I kind of picked myself up. Good, good. I love it. I love it. There you go. There you go. There you go, pull in, hips, good. I decided to change some of my coaching staff. Good, six, hips, seven. Tried a new gym. 15, good, love it, love it, love it, love it. And find the passion. Relax, relax, relax. Now, I feel unstoppable. Good, get him going. Following the loss to Amanda Nunes. She got away from the game, needed to reset, needed to have fun in the gym again, and she's ready to start making a case for a title shot. Raquel is explosive tonight. Pennington would eventually return to championship four. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Right. Come on. Fight for Pennington's definitely looking better. She wants to turn back toward the top and make that a reality once again. Look at this. Nice. Raquel. Her evolution as a fighter has been incredible to watch. These last four or five years, she's really turned a corner. Really nice work by Raquel. Her striking is looking phenomenal, looking sharp. This is what Pennington needs, forward pressure. Raquel is so well-rounded, so fast, so strong. Raquel Pennington is emerging as a truly world-class contender. She's topping, she's topping. Three in a row for Rocky. She has so many ways to win fights. Beautiful, Raquel! This is the type of fight where Raquel bites down in her mouthpiece and does her best work. Raquel Pennington is at another level. Now riding high on an impressive five-fight win streak, Pennington has another shot at the bantamweight belt on January 20th in Toronto. With the now vacated title left behind by Amanda Nunes, 
will go up for grabs between Pennington and the submission savant from Brazil, Myra Bonasuva. Myra Bueno Silva, fighting out of Minas Gerais, Brazil. We'll see what she can put on display with Dana White watching Octagon side. The product of the nation's first installment of Dana White's Contender Series. Look at that, she's got the neck wrapped up. Oh, and there's the tap, just over a minute in. Myra Bueno Silva. Silva would earn a contract with the world's leading promotion. Myra Bueno. She punches her ticket to the UFC. Now it's time to go up a level and see what she has in the big show. And assemble an impressive highlight reel spanning multiple divisions. She's always looked to fight the best. Oh, Myra Bueno Silva teeing off. Oh, and there's the tap. Whoa, look at that, beautiful. If you give her a moment on the ground, you're screwed. There it is, that's it. After five trips to the octagon at flyweight, she returns to 135. She has looked absolutely sensational since moving to 135. She's able to bring out an even bigger dog. First round submission, arm bar. She can dig and grind and find those submissions. Takes on a former champion and a legend in women's combat sports, Holly Holm. She's one finish away from a title fight. Silva is walking her down. Oh, the choke. Oh, that's him. That's all the way in, too. Nasty. Standing guillotine. And there is the tap. Turns back the former champ by submission in round two. Better shot now. Nobody finished like me. I deserve belt. This belt is my belt. Now on the doorstep of earning a world championship, Silva recognizes that her UFC title shot may have never materialized at all without the unwavering support of her wife, Gloria. We met in the shootbox, Sao Paulo, seven years ago. We're here, we're here. And now we're here, yeah. Two years ago, I had a bad time in my life, this depression. And Gloria helped me. I don't want more train, I don't want more life. Then Gloria told me, hey, let's go looking for a doctor for help you. I improve a lot my game, I improve my mind. Her relationship with Gloria DePaula has made such a huge difference for her. She's never met anybody with a stronger mentality than Gloria, and Gloria's really kind of brought the balance into Myra's life. She's everything I had. I'm so happy she in my life. Gloria's backing extends to the gym, where she joins the stable of elite coaches at American Top Team in the collective pursuit of a victory at UFC 297 against the heart-charging Raquel Pennington. I helped Mara in her game. I can read her emotions. So it's good for her to have me watching her trainings and giving feedbacks for her. Raquel is a game fighter. She's good at everything. But Myra presents more danger everywhere. I believe in Myra's mindset that we're gonna end up on January 20th with the belt. I believe I will knock her out in the first round. I'm better at carrying everything. Isso, Excelente, Tara. Let me get some more. There's butter in it. Hello. Wow. Very buttery. That's good. Yeah. 
as Silva leans on the support of family inside and outside of the gym. Make sure everybody's fed. So too does Raquel Pennington, who draws added motivation from the new members she and wife Tisha recently welcomed to the world. We recently had a daughter, Alea. I definitely feel like she's helped me to see life in a completely different aspect. Aww, how cute. Alea's first Christmas. Look at Alea, you got an ornament. You can be 100% exhausted, and somehow I can just look at her little face. I just have this burst of energy. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Give me that championship belt. I'm on a roll. <laughs> I just want to be the best version that I can be for her. This is Raquel's second time at the title shot. This time it is different. She was able to evolve and grow over the last five fights where she's gone through her winning streak. Now she has more to fight for, you know, Alea. She's gonna go in there and she's gonna show the world everything that she's been working hard for. I'll get you. <laughs> nah, I'm still gonna whoop you, don't we'll you do worry. Another, we'll do another wing fry after you get that belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fight camp. On January 20th in Toronto, the world's best phantom weights go toe to toe. And either Myra Buenasova or Rocky Raquel Pennington will emerge the new champion. When I watch Raquel's fights, I'm sleeping my sofa. Silva with the right hand. Spin kick right to the body. Oh, Robertson takes a shot from Myra Bueno Silva. She don't have nothing for me. Oh, huge shots from Bueno Silva. Our fists will do the talking, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna dominate. Oh, big right hand. And I think she'll shut up pretty quick. Bantamweight set the stage for a middleweight main event. Our champion, Sean Strickland, aims to defend his title for the first time. Oh, a huge right hand for Sean Strickland. Against South African challenger, Drakus Duplessis. Oh! Duplessis, knockout power is extraordinary. It's the first pay-per-view event of 2024. I'm coming for number one spot. The only thing I want to do is make this man bleed. At UFC 297.